Hi, Steve Cassidy here. Um, in this video, I want to go through uh, something I've gone through before, but I uh, want to just talk about setting up a bottle project. And so the basics of the bottle project are about the same for every new project you do. And one of the things you, you should be able to do is from scratch, build a new bottle project and just get started. Eventually you might just have a boilerplate for that that you copy in but it's good to be able to do this. So let's go through it. I'm going to create a new project. Uh, a basic project uh, in uh, PyCharm that will set up the environment for us and in my basic project for a bottle project I need uh, a few things. So I will need uh, two directories. I will need the views directory where I'm going to put my templates I need my static directory where I'm going to put my uh, static assets, my style sheets, and then I want a new Python file main.py, which is going to be my main entry point for the Python. Uh, in the uh, views folder, I'm going to have a new HTML file called index.html, which is going to be my main uh, uh, template. And I'll go there and I'll just put in a few uh, things. So just have a title here just to get me started because I don't know what this project's going to do yet, but it's going to have a title in the page. So I have my main now. This is going to be the main entry point for the application. And so I can begin writing uh, my code. Uh, I'm going to import the bottle um, components. And the minimum I'm going to import uh, bottle and debug and then I'm going to say app equals bottle so that's the bottle class and then debug true so then I'm going to see debugging information about uh, things and I'm also going to import uh, here um, static file so I'm going to add the static file handler as a standard thing so now I'm going to just define my first root This is just going to return a template, and therefore I need to import template from there. Um, and I'm going to use the index template. I'm not going to pass, well, I'm going to pass some information to this. So the data I'm going to pass is going to be a dictionary equals. Uh, so far, I've just got the title, my main page. Uh, and then later on when I get this actually application to do something I'm going to add more information into that. So that's our first route. Our second route is the static route. Uh, sorry, route. And this is where we have pile path path. Uh, so any path under the static folder. Uh, And we can define static here, taking that file path as an argument, and return static file. So just using the bottle built-in static file uh, for uh, file path and root equals static. So that tells it to go looking in the static folder for any file uh, that you want to serve from there. And then we have our main part. to write this name is main uh, then we are going to app.run so we're going to run our application that we've defined so this is our minimum uh, application and now we want to add a, a static file a, a new uh, CSS file so we're going to add style.css from the body we're going to make this um, Nice back color pink. I do pack ground color pink just so that I know that the um, um, style is actually working. So you can see that in uh, the, uh, the page. Um, 
Okay, so uh, background color pink, family sans serif, and I need to then reference that in my uh, HTML file. Rel is style sheet, href equals slash static style.css. Okay, so there I now have my minimum page template. I've got my minimum application my style sheet uh, we should now be able to run this and we don't can't run it because I haven't got my Python module set up properly so I need to go to my settings okay go to preferences on my Mac project interpreter so here I need to choose the right interpreter in my case in your case you might already have it set up I just need to choose the right interpreter because I've got lots installed on my computer and now here we are with our um, URL running, there we go, and we have our main page. We've got the style sheet being served there. Uh, I can see that it's a uh, beautiful pink, and there we have our very basic web application with bottle. So you should be able to do this. You should be able to do that from scratch anytime. I should be able to sit you down, and you should say you should be able to do that essentially from memory. I've been doing it a long time, so I can remember all the stuff you obviously will need to refer, refer to things and whatever but you should understand that basic uh, project structure thank you mm -hmm.